Hey everybody, in today's video we will remake the food from various popular cartoons. Let's go! The first cartoon for today is Inside Out. Riley and her mom go to a pizzeria where they are served pizza with broccoli. Ah, you remember how this scene went. Let's remake it. Let's start with the dough. Pour half a packet of dry yeast into a bowl, fill that with warm water, and add sugar to make the yeast work faster. Now mix it up. After five minutes, add olive oil. Now flour. And salt so the dough isn't bland. We put the bowl into a food processor and let it knead the pizza dough. Periodically, we add flour. And that's it, the dough's ready. Cover it with clean wrap and let it rise. In the meantime, we take a saucepan, fill it with water, salt the water, and put it onto the stove. We take the main topping of this pizza, broccoli. Using a knife, we cut off all the florets, and put those into the boiling water. We'll cook this for exactly three minutes. Now we need another bowl with very cold water. To which we also add ice. That's it, three minutes have passed. Transfer the broccoli from the boiling water immediately into the cold. That way, they instantly cool down and stop cooking. Therefore, they don't yellow. For the sauce, put a saucepan on the stove, add a piece of butter to it, now a little flour, which works as a thickener. Mix all this up and warm it for a couple of minutes. Pour in some milk. Add dry garlic with herbs. A little chili pepper. While constantly stirring, we wait until the sauce thickens. By this time, the dough has risen well. We take it out of the bowl and rub it with our hands. We dust the table with flour, tear off a piece of dough, make it round, and stretch it out with our hands until you get a large layer of dough. We spread it onto a baking sheet and cut off the excess with a pizza knife. Pour the sauce on top and spread it around with a brush. We take the broccoli out of the cold water and put it out onto the board. Cut it into smaller pieces and spread it out onto the pizza. The sides are lubricated with the yolk. Sprinkle the pizza with grated mozzarella cheese on top. Finally, a little Parmesan. That's it, we send it to the preheated oven. It's ready in 10 minutes. It turned out to be pretty beautiful and floral. Let's cut it up. We put two pieces onto a plate. And it turns out the same pizza as in the cartoon Inside Out. Let's try it. Despite the fact that there's broccoli, the pizza turned out delicious because the whole taste is made by the cheese and sauce. The next cartoon is Sanjay and Craig, namely the spicy chicken wings that they love so much. We took two packages of chicken wings. We take one wing and take out the small part. There's no meat in it, so we don't need it. We divide the remaining two wings. We throw them into a bowl, and you'll need to cut up all the wings. Done! We sprinkle them with flour. Now let's cover them with a second bowl and shake them. 
That way, each piece is covered with a thin layer of breadcrumbs. Pour the wings onto a baking sheet and spread them out evenly. Let's put that into the oven, preheated to 200 degrees for half an hour. In the meantime, we'll make a special sauce. Squeeze a lot of ketchup into the bowl, olive oil, spicy mustard, dry garlic, black pepper, smoked paprika, dry parsley and dill, cane sugar for a good crust, and salt. We mix this all up, and our sauce is ready. Half an hour has passed, so we take out the wings. They're not quite ready yet. Put them from the baking sheet into a bowl, and pour the sauce all over them. Cover that with a second bowl, and shake it up. Done! All the wings are evenly covered in sauce. Pour and lubricate the baking sheet with olive oil and put the wings on the sheet. Evenly distribute, and there they go into the oven, 250 degrees for 15 minutes. The wings are browned and almost everything is ready. We put them onto a plate so that it looks like it did in the cartoon. The final touch, pour on the very hot sauce. Now everything's ready. We remade the spicy chicken wings from the cartoon Sanjay and Craig, so let's try them. Oh yeah, these are really tasty, but at the same time really spicy. For spicy lovers, it's just awesome. The last cartoon for today is Masha and the Bear. In one of the episodes, the bear was preparing a honey cake with raspberries and strawberries. It turned out really beautiful, so let's remake it. The most important thing is to make a good, delicious dough. We put two bags of dry yeast, sugar, and a little flour into a bowl. And we open the milk. Let's pour 400 milliliters into a saucepan and put that on the stove. You need to warm up the milk. Then pour it into the bowl. And mix it all up. We wait 10 minutes until the yeast starts working. Break in two eggs. A little salt, sunflower oil, and mix again. We put the bowl on the scales. Add 900 grams of flour, then send the bowl to the mixer. We turn it on and wait. As soon as everything is mixed up, we change the nozzle to a hook. Now the dough is really well kneaded. We cover it with cling wrap and leave it to rise for one hour. Look at how much bigger it got during this time. Once again, we knead it, but with our hands. Pour oil onto a baking sheet so that nothing sticks. Tear off a piece of dough and roll it out with a rolling pin into a large layer. Transfer this to a pie tin. Then in the cartoon, the boar pours out a jar of honey. But if we do this in reality, then nothing good will come of it. So just pour the first layer of dough with a small amount of honey and smear it around. The next piece of dough is rolled out just a little bit so that the center of the pastry rises well, just like in the cartoon. Spread it out and pour some honey. Roll out the next layer of dough, spread it out, a layer of honey, Again, dough, honey, dough, honey. Dough, honey, and more dough. Now drizzle that honey. Cut off the uneven edges of the very first layer and remove it. We roll out the last layer. Carefully lay it out and fold over the edges. Now the last layer of honey. Now we tear off a small piece of dough 
and roll it into a rope with our hands. We're left with a long rope of dough. We cut this in half. We twist the two pieces into a braid. We lay this over the middle of the pie and lay out more of these braids. First in one direction and then crosswise. We're almost done. With scissors, we cut off the edges of the braids and pinch the dough with our fingers at the sides. We divide the last piece of dough into two parts and roll out long ropes. We twist them into the longest braid. And we circle this around the whole thing. That's it. This was one of the most difficult stages of preparation. It took more than three hours. In a bowl, mix a chicken egg with a whisk and add milk. Using a brush, gently cover the braids. That's it, we send the pie into the oven at 180 degrees. As soon as the pie is golden, we take it out. In my opinion, it's already turned out very nicely, but that's not all. We bought fresh strawberries and raspberries. We take one raspberry, dip it a little into the honey, and glue it in between the braids in the middle. That way we fill the whole pie with raspberries. In the cartoon, the bear put a huge strawberry on top. So we remove a piece of the extra dough, take a large strawberry, tear off the tip, dip it in honey, and put it on. That's it, our honey cake with berries from the cartoon Mosh and the Bear is ready. And in my opinion, it turned out very similar. Cut off a piece. Inside, it is very honey. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, this is a very tasty dough with lots of honey and ripe raspberries. Basically, it's a hit. And if you want us to cook more food from cartoons and movies, then give us your likes. As soon as we get 300,000 likes, we will shoot a new video on this subject. Also, write in the comments what other food there was in the cartoon Mosh and the Bear, and I will definitely remake it. Also, subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. See everybody.